All right, Leo, let's do this, Leo. Let's do this. You guys had a really strange soulmate reading for the end of August. I'm doing September readings now. So, Leo, let's find out what's going on for you guys with your soulmate situation um, for September 1st through 15th. What's up, guys? What's up? My name is Jason with Ray of Light Tarot. If this resonates for you, please like, thumbs up, subscribe, comment. I love to hear the confirmation. I love to hear what's going on. Let me know. Um, and for personal uh, reasons, you can email me at rayoflighttarot at gmail.com. The, uh, the email address will be in the description as well as a PayPal link. I appreciate any love donations as well. This is a new venture for me. I've been doing readings for quite some time, but not on social media. So I appreciate the support. And uh, so let's find out what's going on. Thank you, universe. I'm going to get, take, pull four, four cards and an overall energy for your soulmate first, and then we'll do you guys. Using the Rider Weight Tarot deck for you guys. resistance coming through for you guys this is likely a um, past life connection and some or someone from your past or both that's coming through and there's some resistance with the energies here someone's mending a broken heart Try to keep an open mind about the situation too. I feel like there's some people that are really holding firm to their position in this situation. And that, you know, it's good to know where you stand, but it's also important to be flexible when it comes to uh, these connections that are so deeply spiritual or soulmate. Also, there's, uh, this is a, this situation feels like, sorry, I've only got one card pulled for you guys so far, the fool. So someone's wanting to take a leap of faith either away from the situation or back into the situation, let's see. But there's also, this is feeling cyclical. There's a cycle here that's trying to come to an end. So let's see what's going on. Come on. What message do you have for Leo about their soulmate? So your soulmate's wanting to take a leap of faith. But the leap of faith, the fool is facing away from the reading already. So I think you may still be dealing with this person who's wanting to take a leap of the tower, guys. The tower, I'm sorry. The tower is coming through again for your soulmate. This is interesting. Yeah, this is a past life connection, possibly a karmic connection. What message do you have for Leo in this situation about their soulmate specifically? <clears throat> Alright guys, so here's the thing about your soulmate. Last time they came through strongly as a Gemini. In this reading for your soulmate, we've got cups, pentacles, and a sword. So this is their overall energy. Page of Swords. Um, not the best energy for them to be uh, coming through with right now. So they're definitely feeling, let me see, are they feeling resentful? Yeah, okay, yeah. So they're they're not happy about something. I don't know if this is, it feels like this is someone you may be with still, but only in appearance only. Um, yeah, so they're wanting to take this leap of faith right away from the situation, and it looks like something's going to happen because their other cards are the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Tower. Sorry, Ten of Pentacles is coming out this way. I held it up the wrong way. It's coming out this way. I held it up like this, but that's because I turned it over. It's in reverse. So Seven of Pentacles, the Fool. Someone's ready to take what they have on their back and go and uh you know there's obviously love here they've got that flower in their hand they're taking with them and that represents like the memories the good memories but the memories aren't good right now so they want to take the good memories and go and take a leap or maybe they want you to take a leap off a cliff <laughs> i'm sorry i just say what comes through guys <laughs> i'm so sorry maybe they want you to take a leap um because they're coming through and the reason i say that they're coming through is the page of swords the page of swords is not a happy character guys this is someone who's been doing some snooping, who um, has learned some truth, and they're not happy about it. That's what. Sometimes it's someone who who knows the truth, but they're not expressing it, or they're being petty. For me, it feels like someone who's learned the truth about something, and they're not happy. They feel like they feel manipulated. I'm not saying that you're manipulating them. That's how they feel. They feel manipulated. Okay, this person's feeling manipulated, and they're ready to go. 
but they're like, I gotta go, man. Bye, I'm out. So I don't know what this is about, but they also have options. They feel like they have options. They, they're feeling dark about this, though. They're feeling illusioned. They're feeling like... No, that's not what this means. Okay, thank you. So what they're doing is they're feeling like they're daydreaming about other things. Um, they... They used to dream about the future you guys could have, and now they're dreaming about other things. Uh, it, this may not resonate for all of you. This is when readings come through like this. It's for specific people, so please don't get mad at me in the comments. If it doesn't resonate, it's just not for you. That's all it is. But this is for someone because it's coming through strong. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ten, ten of Pentacles in the upright would be saying to me that this person sees you as the full package, right? Um, an, an abundant relationship. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, to me, when I get this in a, in a reading and it's feeling like it's strongly in this, is that they're only in this relationship at this point because of the money or financial stability. If it wasn't for financial reasons, they would be gone. And there is a child or a pet, too. There's something about this dog. They want, they're want they taking the dog with them when they go, or the dogs or whatever. They're taking it with them. <laughs> okay, I got it, I got it. And then look, guys, the tower, again, I think the tower was in your end of August reading. So the tower came through uh, for your energy at the end of August reading, I believe. And the tower is coming through for them at the end of their energy here. So this tower is lingering and it's coming through. Um, let's get a clarifier on the tower. What's bringing about this tower for, for your soulmate? Sorry guys, I know this, I didn't mean to, to laugh and stuff. I do take this very seriously, but when the message comes through like that, sometimes it makes me laugh because it just sounds so crazy. But um, yeah, someone's ready to either take a leap of faith or wants you to take a leap off the cliff. One of those two things, or maybe both. There's some. There's a lot of resentment here, okay? There's a lot of resentment and feelings of being hurt. Universe, what is this tower here for? What is the tower for? What's happening? What's, what's the cause of this tower? the resistant energy here what is this someone's someone's resisting the tower these feelings that this person has if they if me giving you this reading and you're hearing it and it does resonate deep inside but you don't like it you need to hear it because these feelings like I said this person feeling feeling uh, resentful feeling feeling like they're done and wanting to take a leap out of the situation if you feel like deep inside like wow I think that's the truth then you probably are needing to hear this reading so if it does if you don't then I don't know who this is for but it wasn't for you just because you're there's a lot of Leo's watching this video so don't get mad okay king of swords all right so this is all right yeah okay they feel like it's justice, this tower coming. They're resisting it too, though, because of something. Financial stability, I don't know. But they're coming, the tower is being clarified for the, by the King of Swords, and I believe the Page of Swords and the King of Swords are the same person. So what's happening is this air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, that you're attached to or still with is feeling this way right now, very small, very petty, very manipulated. They're feeling manipulated. I don't know why that word keeps coming through. They're feeling manipulated by this relationship. What's going to happen is they're going to become the King of Swords again, which is their full growth. And when they grow into this King of Swords, whatever transformation they're going through, they may bring the tower down on you guys. But in the last reading, you were the one wanting to bring the tower down. So whatever this is, if this is a relationship that needs to die, guys, you can't fight the universe. I mean, you can fight the universe and not flow with it, but the t that's when the tower comes in. And it, the tower doesn't come in right away. The tower comes in when people are resisting the change that could come in. This change probably could have come in, I don't know how long, a few years ago, seven months ago, a year ago. There's a big something about the number seven. This change could have maybe come in a year ago and you were hearing the whisper in your heart, or they were, or both of you were, about something needing to change. But when you hold on and you don't listen to the universe, eventually this happens, right? So there's a lesson in this that we need to listen to the flow of the universe and go with it, even when it's changed, it's uncomfortable because it's always going to be easier that way and be much more comfortable that way than when the tower comes crashing down on us. I hate those tower cards. I hate them. I hate the tower cards, but I do see, and you, you have to remember, 
the universe doesn't isn't trying to hurt us, right? The universe is trying to, to protect us from more pain. And eventually the universe is just like, you're not listening and this has got to come crashing down. So something's trying to come crashing down, guys. Okay, I can just feel all the anxiety for you guys. It's like, you've got to get rest. You've got to do some breathing exercises, you know, do some yoga poses, do some, um, do some, some, some um, yoga breathing and then do some like warrior pose, you know, build up your strength. That's your card, Leo, the strength card, you know, build up that strength. You need it for this. Let's see exactly what things look like from your perspective. Let's get some cards for you guys and guidance. Page of Wands. Nine of Wands. I'm sorry, Ten of Wands. Okay, this cycle is definitely ending for, for both of you guys. Whatever this is. This devil. Okay. There's something new coming in right after this tower too for you guys. And it's going to be hopefully something beautiful. Let's see. Yes, nice. Wow, guys. Oh, man. This is a lot. So the overall energy for you, same as your partner, guys. Page of Swords. So you're feeling... You're feeling like you've been betrayed. They were feeling manipulated. Now this card is feeling like betrayal. Betrayal. Uh, you feel like this relationship ended when they cheated. Or when you caught them cheating. I don't know. Something about cheating. Somebody cheated on you repeatedly and it hurt. Um, because you were really in love with this person. That's heartbreak right there. Okay, so you were really in love with this person. Um, could be a Capricorn. Feels like it's an air sign. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Someone that's very cutting with their words when they get upset um i find it very interesting guys that you're they're coming you're both coming through with the page of swords energy and also your first card for your own energy is the page of wands um the page of wands can be immature fiery passionate and i don't think that's who you are i think that's the energy that you're in especially with page of swords page of wands it's almost like that's still their energy you're both Take, mirror each other in your energies. Resentment, betrayal, manipulation, hurt, passion, but it's coming out as anger. And then you've got Ten of Wands is, you know, end of a burdensome cycle. This this relationship is trying to end, guys. You got that, and then you've got the devil, which is being overindulgence, codependence, dysfunction, being two people who are together, but they're only together because they're both chained to a devil. You know, that devil represents all the things about a relationship that aren't healthy. So, if this is about a family and a child or children or financial stability, whatever it is, those things will not keep a relationship together or build happiness. It, maybe you both love each other, but it's not romantic anymore because of the betrayal and the hurt and the manipulation. Well, be friends. Learn to be friends, guys, because look what the outcome here for you is. The world. This, a new cycle is trying to begin for you guys. And the signs are all in their separate corners. This is a new cycle, and it, there, there's victory. There's victory in this. In this, so, And I, I love the woman with the batons. It's like she's got two batons in her hand. She just feels like dancing again. So there's victory and happiness to be found. If you can let that, just let the tower happen. You know, let go. Lay down these burdens. This is the end. When it's a 10, it's the end. Lay down these burdens. Let your The universe is trying to unchain you guys from this devil. And if you're meant to be together, you may be counseling, but it doesn't feel like this is meant to be together. It feels like this is meant to end. Um, I want to get a clarifier on the page of wands, please. Why is the page of wands here? Yeah, that makes sense. Page of Wands is being clarified by the Six of Wands. So this is about 
you're wanting victory. And see, that's another thing that doesn't feel right, guys. If you're in a situation like this and your only focus that you can find to to like give you some kind of motivation is about victory, and it doesn't, these are solitary cards, guys. These are all solitary cards, and this is a soulmate reading. So this is a karmic partner, okay? Um, you're wanting victory in this situation, and that's just, that's about winning. Um, you're gonna, you're both gonna win, but you're gonna win by letting the tower come down and and laying down your burdens and being honest with each other about um, endings, about things that need to come to an end. Can you give me some something, some hope here? What's what what's in in Leo's future? Obviously, there's there's got to be something in their future. What's in their future? Is there someone else in their future coming through? Yes, there is. Okay. I, this is the Hierophant card coming out for your future. So there's. Definitely marriage, something traditional, something that makes you happy. <clears throat> Leo, you may want something traditional, and that be, may be why. Yeah, so maybe you're stuck in a situation because you wanted something stable and traditional and spiritual and all those beautiful things. And maybe at one time you thought this was it, but this is not coming through as, as that at all. Um, who is in? Who is in Leo's future? Who is in their future? Thank you. Earth sign. Eight of Pentacles. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles, please. Hold on. <clears throat> Thank you. Please clarify the Eight of Pentacles. For who is in Virgo? Uh, Leo's future. Who is in Leo's future? Could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I just said Virgo too, so it may be a Virgo in your future. Um, thank you. Okay, you guys need to do some time to heal. There's there's nobody coming through right now. The two clarifiers on that, we got the world again. So it's all about focusing on this cycle ending. Okay, this is not a time. The cycle ending and then the four of swords healing. It's all about healing at the end of a cycle. But there is this future of something something that's going to be very spiritual, very traditional, something that's going to make you happy. Marriage. I always see marriage when I see the Hierophant. So there is marriage in your future. I don't think it's with this person, though. You may be married to this person that's coming out in the, this reading. And it just doesn't feel like something that... It doesn't feel like something that either one of you want to uh, work out. At least not work out in the sense of staying together. You may want to work it out in a sense that you can have a, wor a working relationship and uh, stay, be friends after this all gets settled. Uh, I'm going to pull a Dreams of Gaia card for going away advice regarding the situation, but I think it's pretty clear. So let's see what, what Gaia, Dreams of Gaia has to say. What messages do we have? got the maiden the maiden card and the king of fire so what this is saying to me is first of all the maiden is all about being a free spirit being feeling abundant seeing abundance in the little things around you and all the beauty you have in your life and she's solitary here right so this maiden is someone who's learning to appreciate the beauty of all of the things they have and be grateful for those things and having letting go of a lack mentality or a feeling of betrayal and seeing all the ways the universe is rewarding you for the little with the little things in life you know there's there's a beautiful forest that's a lush garden a beautiful path you know she's walking barefoot she's carefree she's very carefree look at her walking barefoot she's dancing looking at the rabbit there's there's fruitfulness in this future and you've got to see it in the little details right now it's difficult when you're struggling or you're in a bad relationship and trying to get things together but you've got to see all the beauty around you and learn to to sort of let your spirit be free again and that's going to lead you back to being yourself which is the king of fire this represents you and your element right so that's going to make you and see the lion leo that's yours right so Look at all! Look at all that fire and the blue and the eyes and, and the mind. There's gonna you're gonna it's gonna open your mind to all the beauty around you when you start to 
free your spirit from this situation. You've just got to free yourself, guys, and be the king of fire. Be, find find your passion again, because your passion is not in this situation. The situation that, that was coming up in this reading is definitely not feeding your passion. So um, I'm sorry that this is kind of a downer reading, but guys, I have to just read them as they come out, and that came out pretty clear. So uh, I wish you guys well, and I will uh, talk to you soon.